The Division of Youth is set to host its inaugural national youth elections following a series of parish-level youth parliament sittings May and June this year. The national youth elections will be a welcomed instrument to give youth the opportunity to further understand their role in contributing to the policy direction of the country to develop a better future for youth in politics. 29 candidates selected to contest in the first ever national youth elections from 14 constituencies. They will be engaged in activities like a national general election, forming campaigns to gain support from the young people for a chance to represent them at the National Youth Parliament. The elected parliamentarians will serve a two-year term. Throughout their stint, they will engage in regular National Parliament youth sittings, debating actual bills passed in the National Parliament. In addition, they will participate in a comprehensive mentorship program, attend official engagements in their capacity as youth parliamentarians, and have access to the Community Support Grant Fund to initiate community and youth development projects. Each national youth parliamentarian will receive a stipend to assist in their national youth parliamentary debates. Voting will be done online. Young people interested in voting to elect their representative are asked to log into the youth election website at youthelections.gov.gd to register and familiarize themselves with the national youth elections process. Due to the passage of Hurricane Beryl and the devastation caused, the Carico Youth Parliament sitting and elections will take place in 2025. The Caribbean community notes with deep sadness the passing on Friday, September 13th of His Excellency Leonard Archer, former Bahamian ambassador to CARICOM. During his 15 years of representation to the community, Ambassador Archer served his country with distinction. He was instrumental in the activities of the Council for Foreign and Community Relations, contributing to enhancing the community's relationships with international organizations and the third states, including the integration of Haiti as a member state. An avid trade unionist, his wealth of knowledge and expertise in industrial relations helped to shape CARICOM's charter of civil society. Ambassador Archer's legacy includes a solid contribution to education and the professional formation of young people in his homeland, the Bahamas, and by extension, the region. CARICOM conveys condolences to the government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and his family members.